Hey guys, so I wanted to address something very important. If you don't know me, my name's Molly. Um, I have ticks undiagnosed, which is great. Um, but yeah, basically, um, I wanted to sort of talk about some stuff. Um, this is probably going to end up like a story or something, I don't know, but um yeah basically um i have ticks i've always had them they haven't been very bad i've had them since i was about four or five they just started off as a little noise or a blinking or scrunching my nose um so it wasn't very obvious i had the odd fuck off i had the odd um sort of hitting tick where I'd hit the table in school I'd just pretend there was a fly or something and you know play it off call or whatever um and I I had the odd swearing tick I've never sworn with my ticks until recently I never actually had really had um verbal ticks before at all really I mean I did kind of but not really if that makes any sense whatsoever so I basically um I got told off a few times for swearing in class um but I just played it off as having a joke with my friends and stuff like that so um yeah then fucking jellyfish wow hmm? yeah um so it wasn't very obvious until about a month ago they'd gotten really bad i've got hitting ticks now i've got um a lot of verbal ticks um a lot of motor ticks out my neck but um so um yeah like i basically just had they weren't bad but then they got bad and I contacted my doctor and they gave me the website Tourette's Action, I'll link it up here somewhere. Um, had a look through all that. Um, I mean, some of the doctors in the UK are just absolutely horrible. They're just not very good at all. They just, they try and not, you know, do, do anything at all they just try and hope it gets better but that's obviously not what's going to happen <laughs> um but i did get diagnosed for adhd and ocd and i never got put on meds for it because obviously adhd in boys and girls mm, display differently and according to my doctor it wasn't severe enough to be put on medication so i've been suffering with that since i was about or suffering more i should say with that since i was about 16 and fucking wow fuck off yeah basically i haven't gotten any medication for it so it's been really hard for me i've struggled and then looking on that tourette's action website looking at a lot of the co-occurring symptoms disorders things like that and then looking back it's all just made sense like it's it's made a lot of sense and i'm getting in contact with my new doctors since it's become worse and I uh and uh yeah so basically they have referred me to neurology and as anyone knows it takes forever and a day to get diagnosed with a tick disorder or Tourette's in the UK because I guess obviously they have to monitor your symptoms and stuff but it's hard because my hitting ticks, ow, <laughs> my hitting ticks have become a lot worse over the past couple of days and it's really hard and when I have tick attacks it, 
it's very hard for me to calm down and it takes quite a while and um you can't see it but both sides of my face are bruised but i'm wearing a little bit of makeup today a little bit of face makeup i mean <laughs> but because of that it's making me very insecure and it's just sort of very very hard to be out in public without getting dirty looks or being called immature or childish or disgusting or crazy or asked to leave a shop because I don't have a sunflower in lanyard so I can't show them and say this is what's wrong with me please don't kick me out of the store for shouting fuck <laughs> or shouting your nan's got chlamydia the war ride is coming fuck okay that was a bit weird but it's just you know it's not very good and I need you know the doctors haven't given me any advice on how to manage it until I get my diagnosis officially or until I get medication for it so it's just sort of me struggling and I want to be able to manage it and live a normal life i mean so far i have but i have to get my boyfriend to help me a lot because i always hurt myself in the kitchen because um i get impulse ticks to like if there's anything dangerous around me i have to touch it throw hot water on myself touch a knife throw it at myself you know so far nothing has actually happened luckily and when i get feel that coming on i just take myself away from the situation and sort of wait until it calms down little pig fuck off wow and another thing i want to address is jobs obviously i can't work in retail or anything because you know me screaming fuck at customers isn't very nice and if i don't have any way to prove what's wrong with me they'll just think i'm being rude and obviously because i'm young the older generation don't understand and they don't some of them don't want to understand so that's quite sad um but i mean my dream career is to become a like a crime scene cleaner like a biohazard technician um but like f where my area is there isn't much crime so obviously that means traveling very far um so i live like i live about two hours away from london and that's very you know hard when you're on your hands and you're scrubbing all day <laughs> um but obviously like most of the time you don't ice cream truck most of the time you don't need any qualifications they just train you on site but i'm not sure how they would react to my tick disorder or tourette's i mean you know i can't speak for everyone obviously there are a lot of people out there worse off than me the fucking war ride is coming hmm. but um you know it's, it's like it's looking like Tourette's but obviously they have to wait for it like they have to wait till over a year to tell that so for now it's looking like a tick disorder hmm. And no, you can't just catch it. You can't just develop it. It's genetic. And But no one in your family has to have it. You just have to carry a gene for it. But whether it activates or not is another thing. So, you know, um, like I don't know what neurology has in plan for me. But, yeah. So basically um there's a lot of things um you know that aren't 
looking too great um but basically i mean i suppose there are other things i could do if i'm told i'm not allowed to work to earn me money such as youtube not only that i do love you know making videos and stuff i've only just started um because i haven't been brave enough but um i just thought hey why not see where it goes if it goes anywhere great if not then oh well i'll just do it for the fun of it but i'm hoping that i that something goes right for me <laughs> and no this isn't a sob story i'm not trying to turn this into a sob story because this was just i don't know a talk i guess i um you know there's a few more things i want to address that are not that are upsetting quite a lot of people shall we say ah fucking war riders coming ah oh my toe i'm hoping that when i get my full diagnosis and whatever they decide whether they decide i can't work or i can whether it'll affect my ability to work whatever I can still make awareness videos, some hauls, just like whatever people want because I have wanted to make videos for such a long time but I haven't been brave enough and I thought that this would be the good time to do it. Fuck off, wow. okay and basically another thing is that i made a video of some screenshots from the Tourette's action website to show people and maybe if other people struggling and don't know you know if they're sort of new to it and they might have some of it and sort of just telling my followers i don't have many but just sort of ex telling them that everything that's happened in my past and why i've been struggling so much mentally emotionally physically that it all made sense and my videos usually get anywhere from 700 to 150 i want to say views which yes it's not a lot but i'm still at the beginning of growing my platform so um but that video only got nine views and zero likes so it's definitely fuck off it's definitely tiktok uh taking them down and they take down anyone's videos who they think are ugly who are overweight um or poor so it's and they they think that's a good way of good morning how are you today ah so they think that that is helping by preventing cyberbullying when what they should really be doing is blocking and removing the the bullies but they don't think that will solve anything so instead they're punishing the good people that are trying to make an honest living and leaving the trolls to basically get away with it and it's not fair so a lot of people can't make money their videos don't get views they can't spread awareness for things because there are a lot of people out there who don't know what Tourette's is, who don't know what tick disorders are, and they don't understand when you say, I can't help it. Ow. Pain. So when people say, I can't help it, it's completely out of my control. People don't understand because that awareness is not being spread. It's not getting out there. The information is not getting out there. So it's unfair to people who are trying to make an honest living 
so sort it out tiktok please you know people trying to make money in the shit mm. fucking wow ah but fuck off i will also insert those clips uh, not clips, sorry, um, screenshots of the Tourette's Action website for anyone who wants it, for any parents, the children struggling or anything. Um, I just want to put a disclaimer though, I am undiagnosed, I'm not self-diagnosing, but fuck off. People can see for themselves and make their own judgments on what I have, what I don't have. A lot of people may say I'm faking, but honestly, Walking down the street, punching yourself in the face, having a constantly bruised face isn't fun. And I would rather not be doing that. Um, you know, hitting yourself until you almost pass out. Hitting yourself until you have a headache, until you feel dizzy. It's not fun. You know, having people around you that you love watch you struggle. It's just as much pain for them as it is for you. You know, because they don't want to see you punch yourself. They don't want to see you hurt yourself. They don't want to see you in pain or crying or hurt. So the next time, you know, everyone's welcome to their own opinions. But the next time you call a disorder like that fake, just think about what them and their families and loved ones are going through. Because yes, your loved ones are there to take care of you. But it doesn't mean that they're not hurt from seeing you get hurt as well so before you do anything like that just think how it will affect them you know you calling their pain and suffering fake it's not nice you know it's like going up to someone in a wheelchair and saying you're faking just stand up you know it's just don't do it it's really just don't do it um but on a lighter note, I am getting diagnosed, so hopefully I will be able to have something to manage my tics and... Ow. They hurt. I will be able to manage my tics and my ADHD and I will be fine. Ow. Fucking war riders coming. Wow. Fucking bitch. Another thing, we don't want to be swearing. You know, we're walking around Tesco or wherever in the world you are, whatever shop. We don't want to be swearing because people think it's at them, then they give you dirty looks, call you disgusting, and yeah, it's not fun. So, um, but basically, you know you don't want to just like no one wants it you know so like that's another thing don't ever say you wish you had a friend with Tourette's or tics or you wish you had them because trust me and and everyone else with the same thing will tell you you don't want this it's hell like they would all give anything to be normal i would give anything to be normal so just you know i think before you say anything to anyone because that could affect them quite deeply so just but on a lighter note everyone yeah a lot of people ask me what my style is i don't know my mood changes every day so i could be plain and boring or i can be this but I do mostly like this, so. I mean, the only thing that changes really is my lipstick, if I'm honest, because, you know, but everything's just a lot, you know? Everything a lot, you know? Yeah. Mm? Fuck off. I didn't just throw my makeup sponge at my tripod thanks another thing I want to add is 
anyone who's got any advice on how to manage ticks without a diagnosis, without medication or anything like that, please give me some tips in the comment section below because I'm struggling here. I'm struggling and I need help. You know, because my face hurts from punching it continuously for nearly half an hour from a tick attack. Um, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's more or less just red marks and the more or less the red marks and bruised bone. It's my cheekbones that are bruised. So it doesn't look like, you know, big black and blue bruises like I've been slung up the wall or something, but it definitely hurts and it gave me a massive headache. So I, yeah, just please give me tips and suggestions on things to try um, for managing ticks until I get a diagnosis and medication because, you know, like, like I said, up until about a month and a half ago, they haven't been that bad. They weren't really noticeable, if anything. Um, but then all of a sudden, just BAM! Like I was hit by a train of ticks. And fucking little pig. Yeah. And I believe if it is Tourette's, I do have the... I have echolalia, I believe it's called, which is where you copy sounds or phrases that you've heard from tv people around you friends whatever um and i believe the other one is called coprolalia coprolalia something like that um which is the one that makes you fucking war rider ah you can't outlast him which is uh, where you swear, make obscene gestures and or phrases and words. Like I just said, like you swear. So it's, I want to say it's looking like I have that, but I don't want to self-diagnose and sit here and be like, oh, I have Tourette's when I don't. I mean, I don't think I do. I haven't officially been told that yet, but I guess we'll see, well, wait and see what, neurology has in plan for me has in has in plan for me has planned for me you know what i mean i'm just crazy anyway um please give me tips and suggestions on how to manage ticks especially violent ones in the comment section because that would really help me out and i would super appreciate that like a lot um Anyway, that's it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe and share to help awareness. And um, I'll see you again soon, I guess. Bye.